Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Two Against the Overlord campaign. Just uh, freshly got the save game back from Tabcat and was informed that we were unfortunately not successful. Well, that happens. Specifically, the retaliation missions aren't that fun. You know what else is not fun? Yep, you guessed it, Undying Loyalty, which is why we're doing Operation Flying Rhyme, a very difficult mission to destroy an alien relay. Hogbite is leading our group uh, of Black Magic, Wolfhound, Redline, Zeus and uh, Grease. In case you are wondering why we are taking those uh, soldiers, well, uh, wonder not, um, our main soldiers are all either injured and or very tired of the last missions, which is not really surprising given that we had two back-to-back -back missions. General comment, we are again running into a trouble with the Avatar project, so gotta take care of that sooner than later. But for now, we gotta take care of this mission. Alright, look at these fine ladies and gentlemen who just appeared in the middle of the sewers. This is, oh, I remember this is a new set tile. Problem is, it's very difficult to maneuver. To lots of corridors, lots of doors that need to be opened. And fun fact, you can't just charge through a door. Duh. Uh, you can move next to them and then open it without any cost because apparently that's a thing but in the moment that you dare to just charge through them you would kick them in and you better believe that that breaks your concealment XCOM logic right there both of it just gets you equally far but yeah I, I would lose my concealment over here Curious what the design idea behind it is. I mean, I do understand they didn't want you to just needing to spend an action to open a door. Okay, fair enough. But then okay. why can't you just in concealment go through them? All right, let's double check. Okay, well, so much for our concealment. So much for our concealment. Um, I need someone who can shred. And you, Grease, look just like that person. There we go. Nice little shred. Good job. Moving up. Moving up. Yeah, I think that's a good kill. You can't handle me. All right, we got it. He can't handle you. I would say with that level of attitude, no wonder that he can't handle you. Good shot. And that should be two focus. No, it's just one. Anyways, he will die. Just not giving us focus. I don't mind losing concealment with our sniper. <coughs> We just need to push forward. Hopbyt moves in. Opens the door. Oh, no, 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 no. There is another pack. Okay. Not so fast. That might trigger. Okay, that trigger. Mm 
Well, sometimes it is what it is. Here I come. Moves over here. And can we please... Yes, just hit both of them. Good hit. We are definitely going for the Fanatic Crusader first. Anything happens, there might be another pack there. Careful, Saiken. What's my trigger? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. But we need to push in, so there's only so much I can do here. Two packs, very unfortunate. Team working mainly because I want to make sure that the Andromedon could go down. Sniper braces goes upstairs. And we'll charge in. All right. Let's storm in to kill. Andromedon loses action. We're parrying the mutant. We resist the mind control attempt of uh, the mind bender and should be fine. That's the idea. Why exactly did that go through? Why exactly did that go through? The enemy chases my life. The Not sure why it uh, went through. Uh, maybe because this year is parried. Now there is something inherently wrong. I would have not played it that uh, way. He ignored Perry. Oh, that's really bad. Good. Starting with a member. Decent hit. Let's try to hit the Andromedon here. want to take it over yep but is a solid miss but we do have blue screen rounds so that's an easy hit point reduction kill on this guy into suppression on the mind bender prime We're going to use Mimic Beak in this turn, so no need to get too excited. I wouldn't have even needed that. Interesting. Okay, so this will trigger his... This will trigger his uh, immediate reaction and e human reflexes trigger Bladestorm, which then triggers the kill. So we wouldn't, really wouldn't have needed uh, the suppression. 
Should have done that first. Grabs this. We're moving up. Adrenaline rush into healing. I still call BS on the hawk bite hit, but okay, whatever. It's XCOM, so why am I even surprised? Good, Mimic Beacon goes out, we're fine. Double move, it has its crossbow, so it would need to reload. And the Mindbenders really don't have the power to just go through it. Cool, well, that is an easy an easy hit. Hogbite begins to clean house back here. Finally. Move up, opening the door. Killing the snake. And I think it's a good time for reload. Shreds this guy, almost gets him down. Move up into a decent position. Could kill him with a mine. But may we use it later. You want some more? Mindbender is in severe trouble. As he is getting pelted from all directions. Moving to position. Full cover here. We're just going to overwatch, it's fine. There is another pack somewhere. Okay, not good. We're getting reinforcements and we're almost out of time. to here next turn we need to get that uh, thing down which is a problem um, I would definitely like to go and uh, stand there with uh, blade storm Maybe I'll just do that. Here I, come. I assume there's another pack back there. Cover protocol gets him down to one. Um, yeah, we're moving in. Has triggered something. Okay. Good 
move to here grenade to set that off not a bad start gotta keep in mind that next turn is going to be kind of the big turn You're going to be all right. because reinforcements are coming and we will need to just hit everything out of curiosity we could freeze Can we freeze all of them? Look, that's one option. The other option is just straight up damage. Um, I think the damage is better. There's even fall damage included onto uh, onto the stun lancer shreds everything they fall onto each other that deals extra damage for the guy that he is falling onto and we still have blinding protocol for a big fat four person blind yeah not bad not bad Overwatch here. Okay. Very good. What is Deadly Marionette? Ooh, he killed the guy. I think this is the package. Okay, whatever is happening there, it looks strange. Luckily, we got that nice um, that uh, nice disorientation off. Oh come on, panic! Good. Adrenaline shot into removing that stupid panic. Common protocol to get a certain kill, or a secured kill rather. Stun Lancer is an option. We definitely need to first and foremost focus on getting our target down. Moves over. Now nah, we are not taking that shot yet.
Yeah, we're potentially needing Hogbud to actually clear that stuff. This will crowd control an entire site. <clears throat> Sucks using it this way. Could have maybe taken a shot beforehand. I'm deciding to move in and kill the uh, the biggest threat there. Sun Lancer takes a couple of hits. We're overwatching here. And we're going into full cover, plus brace. <clears throat> but this, this side here is taken care of. For the glory of the elders. No, lightning reflexes. Oh boy, they are suicide bombers. Wouldn't have killed him, but would have been close. Wow. Yeah, sucks if you don't know the abilities of the enemies. And it kind of comes down to a dice roll, really. I'm okay with being flanked from that side, don't worry. This is killing both of uh, the other guys, and I would like to actually hit the third one, but I don't know why I don't have a line of sight. Sustenance? No, minimum damage. Okay, well, that stinks. Things are not really going our way here. Bit of a cheeky play from uh, me. 100% Shadow Fall shot. <laughs> yeah, make sure that the guy is dead. This is out of line of sight of the others. On your order. Adrenaline rush into mission Hawkbite needs to heal. Into taking sweet, sweet high ground. We're just overwatching here. And we're overwatching. 
All right, these guys will explode. There's the execution. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, apparently he's immune to explosions. And just reanimate his friend. Does kill himself. And fully reanimates. Oh, okay. Well, that's an interesting ability. no fool we want to get a bit closer and shred him before further engaging there we go six points of damage well you're not such a witch hunter anymore not after hot bite is done with you okay Reminder to myself, need to learn uh, the abilities of the enemies before going into the missions. So they can definitely reanimate. The Witch Hunter appears to also have sort of a reanimation. The Mindbenders can cleanse, which is bad. But our uh, Frost Grenade was just mwah, chef kiss that completely shut the entire side down. Yeah, and afterwards it was GG. Okay, wounded for nine days. I don't like that, but Hogbite has a reputation nowadays to be wounded. Rapid deployment, fantastic ability. I think we're going to go with that as well. And gain a pocket to equip a throwing or support grenade on top of rapid deployment. That's actually a really, really, really good... Uh, combination I'll leave it up to Tapcat to decide if he wants to go into that combo all right salvo definitely good we're going for rapid deployment as well because uh, frost grenades count as support uh, grenades hence uh, that will give him even stronger uh, even stronger ability to counter um, or to alpha strike in one uh, round with basically salvo into a normal grenade then um, free deployment for the frost grenade and then a normal shot or another grenade so can really nova in one uh, turn scientist is good i like it but let's just double check so we have the advent black side still we got a facility there I uh, don't have the intel, but I think we have instantaneous contact. We had tactical analysis here. We lost access. Oh yeah, okay. Well, uh, that's not good. So if we were to make contact, it's instant, but we need intel. So that's important. LM alloys and crystals are important as well. And here we got a supply rate theoretically coming up uh, which would be which would be a lot of um, a lot of items let me just shortly uh, keep this one here active good that way it does not decay and we're definitely going uh, to go for the alarium and the alloys because we want armor upgrades we somehow need to get intel that could be via researching a data pad after the warlock weapon when inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. cool disrupt the rifle um, and yeah, we even got a facility lead in all, both cases we need intel Serpent armor upgrade would be helpful. We're doing that right away. Haven't even used the serpent uh, suit yet because I've forgotten that we have it. Still ask myself. 
So we got a lot of cores here. For unbridled curiosity that led me to blindly pursue my research with such zeal. Hello, Commander. Uh, we could go for this. A big fat war suit. For experimental weapons on top of it. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Alright, spent all of our stuff. We need more alloys and more Illyrium crystal. And a bit of time to recover. That's a super resource. Got intel there. How is our team doing? Okay for another mission. Hogbite isn't uh, too bad as well. You know what? I think that extra supply rate will do us more good than harm. So I'll let Tapcat go into a supply rate. It's also a comparably easy mission, so we should be fine. Could go with another data pad. Plasma lens would be nice, but we need the Archon autopsy, so let's do that first. And the reason why I did not choose a facility is we can make contact here. Oh, that does not... stupid me, that does not give us direct access. Okay, well that changes things. Um, back to another datapad decryption. Hmm. This is good, uh, a good further move deeper into Asia. But I think we really should get the supply um, rate first. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Yeah, I know. I focus all of my Defeated and there is an additional dark event. Okay. Hmm. Signal jamming would suck, sealed armor would suck. Alloy padding wouldn't be great either. Good. Now I think we're fine. Uh, enemies drop additional loot is better than the extra XP. Consider it done, Commander. There is 500 and we, we do have a supply rate. Okay, hmm, hope I could go on to that next mission if we just wait a tiny bit longer. We could get um, also enough, almost enough supplies for the armor upgrade, sell some more stuff and then actually get the armor upgrade. AP rounds finally. Hidden reserves too. Interesting. Okay. Not very good, but interesting. So let's see what we've got. Uh, instance collection. Uh, this saves a lot of time. Reduction of avatar project. Potentially uh, something that we could look into. Promotion and superior PCS is bad. I would like to get more chosen. Ah, oh, that one here is good. Uh, reusable uh, weapon upgrades, potentially the best uh, that I've seen this month. Dodge and Angie. 
This isn't bad either. Yeah, that's not bad because uh, you can, uh, you're not wasting your old attachments. And it's only six days, so actually is a quite interesting proposal. We got a few promotion options, seven dodge on top for 12 days. Intel end promotion. Hmm. The alternative is we're just going to um, going to go hunt for the chosen. Let me just double check something real quick. Um, yeah, it's good. It's getting a bit. Tighter. So I actually think that this year is the right way to go. Um. Tech specialist and uh, field medic. We definitely don't want anyone to be captured. That's a bit of an ambush chance, but that does not really deter me. Might as well put a little bit better items into these guys. Okay. Good. Yeah, let's let's definitely get him first and we're we can do the other stuff later. Yeah, we need to also work on the Avatar project. Uh, Datapad is soon done. And then it's facility lead time. So out of curiosity, this would cost 160 Intel. Data pad is almost done. Avenger plotting new course. And the other option is armor upgrade. Good, we definitely got enough money now, or almost enough money. Um, Alloys and crystals. Yeah, we would get that on the supply raid mission. Bond level three for Hogbite isn't a bad idea. New but I want to get that supply rate first and then we definitely need to do facility lead next. Interesting discoveries, Commander. Commander. Good facility lead. I'll see that That'll take almost no time. I'll contact well worth the intel. And oh, nice psionic storm suggests high level of psionic enemies present. Avenger power, we don't necessarily need that, but yeah. Um, I'll hand it over with the supply rate. Supply rate is actually quite good. Gives us experience, alloys, alarium, loot, a uh, mm, couple more supplies that are needed. And in terms of just building stuff, I think a, another mimic beacon wouldn't be bad.
and hop by its weapon upgrade. We'll still get enough supplies, don't worry. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of today's episode, I suppose. Uh, we would have at least one supply raid, then the facility happens soon, so more than enough time. Um, and that also would mean we can get maybe a couple more captains to major and even if uh, Hogbite makes it to major we could promote him and get Colonel out of him. In terms of new combat tactics uh, that cuts it short I don't know if we have that much money left over but the mentally awake is good really good so it's every mission with one focus that makes a huge difference yeah idle staff in the infirmary i wouldn't give too uh, much about that because very soon we after the supply raid i'm sure there is someone in the infirmary and if not that then um, after the inevitable next uh, mission the facility lead yeah so it's starting to swing into our direction again and the cool part about the facility lead is if we go directly into the facility uh, then we will have a reduction and a stop for further advent progress then on top of it we do have a reduce the avatar project mission uh, that will give us two uh, less blips and certainly enough time to um, start expanding uh, we definitely need armor upgrades so uh, with the supply rate that would almost be taken care of and yeah uh, it's uh, looking decent thanks for watching today guys and um, try to mind control the like button whilst you're on your way out thanks a lot have a good one bye bye